Yes. I would say I am personally more, I don't know, bold, adamant, willing to offend people. I'm, I'm fixed blade 100% for elk. I mean, quality fixed blade. I wouldn't go buy some cheap knockoff, right? That goes, and you, and you have to, have to, have to have accuracy. To me, that's like, like when people are like, oh, accuracy is more important than penetration. Cause if you don't hit, you know, you know, if you don't hit the elk or if you hit a front shoulder, I'm like, well, you need to, you need to shoot no matter what you pick. It has to be accurate. Like you, you can't, you can't sacrifice accuracy no matter what we're talking about. Like given all of them hit the group well and shoot well, which one are you going to pick? That's where I'm at. And I just, I think it's so incredible. We've been a part of so many blood trails. It's so incredibly important to get two holes in an elk. It really is. I mean, those suckers are tough. They do not die easy. It's hard to blood trail in the mountains. They can run a mile in like seconds. Like it's, yep. that's my stance. I'm, I mean, I've, I, I tell people if your elk hunt hinges on a broadhead choice, pick a broadhead that doesn't have hinges. I carry both in my quiver when elk hunting. Is that for like, if he's like, if he's attacking you, I'm going like three yards and in, and I'm putting the fixer, the mechanical on. <laughs> so generally my first shot is with a, a, a fixed blade. That's, okay. that's my, that's my first shot preference. And usually that's because that's a closer shot. That's, that's, there's more time in that. 